Continuing in our character design tutorial, I'm going to show you how I create a body for a character and make sure that it's easy to animate. Then I'll finish by showing you some rendering techniques I use to make sure that you're not wasting any time. When designing characters, I try to use similar shapes. Husky has a lot of V's in him, and this wasn't done by accident. I also create contrasting shapes in the character to break things up a bit. The functionality of your character is also very important. Unlike a drawing, these characters are going to have to move and interact with the setting you put them in. Is your character going to have to pick up or use a prop? Then it would be a good idea to have some functional arms. These functionality forethoughts will help you avoid production problems you might run into later on, which can take hours or more to correct. When I begin rendering the character, I use fills in my drawings to get a basic tone and then create new layers and draw quickly over top of the original layer to get the shadow and highlights. Always creating new colors on different layers, allowing me to move or delete a color if it isn't working for me. When I'm done with something I like, I move the original sketch over beside the quick render and again create colors on a new layer, but this time using the color picker from my quick render. These will be the final designs, so I put more time into the detail, which was skipped over the previous step to work more efficiently. By keeping the artwork on layers, I'll be able to create the rig for animating the character very easily, which we'll go into in the next episode. So subscribe, and oh, oh, wait! Now that I've shown you how do I create characters, I'd love to see the characters you come up with. I would also love to show and critique your designs and animation as we go through these guides. So if you want to submit your rough designs to be showcased on this channel, send in your designs to saveisawesome at gmail.com and I'll feature some of your work, what's working, and where things can be improved. So subscribe and stay tuned.